Okay, so today I'm gonna go over um, my slide bait system for um, slide baiting. It's a dead end rig with a multiple slide system. So what we got here is stop ring. This would be running to your lead. Okay, we got a Flemish eye with a uh, crimp. Cut it as close as you can, burn the edge with a lighter. This is about 200 or 250 pound test mono. Uh, about a foot and a half, two feet of this. Comes up to a, another crimp with a longer tag end. It kind of flares out and I'll show you why I do that with a burnt end again with a lighter. Flemish eye to a two or a three-o swivel. So how this works is you slide your first slide, right? It comes down your rub line, goes into your stock rig, it ends up right here, okay? Right at your stop, your stop ring, okay, with your bait, okay? If a fish bites it with this system, the fish can't run back up the line because he hits this crimp. Because the because there's this tag end here, what happens is the, the slide gets wedged in between the crimp and the tag end, and it keeps it right in this heavy section of mono. So he can't rub up, run up your main line where it's weaker. Okay, so that's the first, first slide. Now let's say you didn't get a fish on and you wanna re-slide. So instead of having to jack up, break lead, lose the lead, you can just slide a second one. So what you do is you would use a, what we call a tiger tail. Okay, so this is a tiger tail. It's basically a bent piece of uh, stainless wire that they sell in the fishing stores. You know, maybe about 21, 22 size, 23 size. You use a round nose plier to make the loop in the middle. Let me get that slide out of the way. There you go. Okay. You can you can bend bend up the edges with an L if you want. Make like a like have it come up. But I just like this. So you slide this tiger tail and the tiger tail will stop at the swivel here. It stops right there, I can't go any further. Okay? Now you drop your second slide. So you slide your second slide, stops right there. So now you've got this separation between your first slide and your second slide. So there's slide one, there's slide two. Okay? So you've got this nice separation and that's nice because you could hook two fish theoretically and you wanna keep these separated so they don't tangle and foul up. So that way when a fish does find your bait, um, there's a clean shot of the hook so it gets a good hook set. So this second slide, when the fish does bite, this slide will compress. It'll compress down and it'll allow the slide to keep going all the way. Now, my line isn't tight enough over here. I have it tied to my door handle, but what'll happen is, is this will compress down it's hard to do with one hand. It'll compress down and this thing will pull all the way true flat. Okay, like I said, I have this thing tied to my door handle of my truck, so I can't really uh, pull too hard on this bad boy. But that's what it'll do. It'll push down and then, there we go. And then come down here. Your tiger tail will remain where it was at on the knot or the swivel. And now your second slide hits the stop ring, breaks your lead, and the fish is running free. Okay, and that's how I run it. Um, you could even, if you make another tiger tail with a smaller loop, um, you could even run a third slide if you wanted to. And that one would stop on the knot of your rub line. So where your main line meets your rub line, you could have a tiger tail stop at that. But I don't do that. I don't like to have too many slides dangling on my line. I keep it to just two. I make this loop about the size uh, where it would stop at the size of my knot and swivel. So you gotta make the loop according to that size. So that way it stops. Because if the loop is too big, it's gonna bypass the swivel and just keep going all the way down. Okay, so that's my two slide system with the dead end rig, uh, multiple slide system. And um, that's how I have mine set up. I don't, a lot of guys, they use wire. I don't like using wire. I like stick, sticking with mono, um, especially if you're going to slide during the day. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how I set up my system. Hope you enjoy the video.